Buenos dias, mis amigos. Okay, today I want to talk about something that, that I think is interesting, and I, I kind of think that nobody will find this interesting, but I find it interesting. Okay, so um, you've, perhaps you've heard me talk about um, the fallacy of the, the Roman Catholic Church. All right, so let's go to... Matthew 16, where uh, I think it, or is it 16? Yeah, yeah, no, that's right there in front of my face. Okay, so Jesus asks, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, others Jeremiah, one of the prophets. He saith unto him, them, but whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter, remember that name, answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. All right, so this is the rock, the foundation for what the church is built on. The fact that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Now, I the Roman Catholic Church, which is a transformation of the Roman Empire, which sought to take advantage of um, uh, of the spiritual aspects of what the Lord Jesus Christ had accomplished, and try to usurp it, if you will. So they come in, and they try to say, no, the church is not built on the fact that Jesus is the Christ the son of the living God they say the church is built on Peter all right and so I've pointed this out it's, it's inter interesting <clears throat> what the five verses later Jesus calls Peter Satan and therefore if the church is built upon Peter then it's fair to say that the jer uh, that church is built on Satan all right and that's obvious to me that the uh, Roman Catholic Church is built upon Satan. In fact, we read that um, in Revelation. What is that? Uh, is it 17? The, the entire chapter uh, 17 and 18 are about the Roman Catholic Church. But let's go here where it says Roman, uh, Revelation 13 and they worship the dragon which is Satan. So Satan gives power to the beast which is the Roman Empire or known today as the Roman Catholic Church. So the Roman Catholic Church gets its power from Satan. And we see evidence of this in Matthew 16. Now, I want you to think about something here. There's uh, what is that verse about Judas Iscariot? None is lost except oh, let's see if we can find it this way no maybe I can't wait when I was with them in the world I kept them in thy name those that thou gavest me I have kept and none of them was lost but the son of perdition that the scripture might be fulfilled <clears throat> so the son of perdition is Judas Iscariot okay so let's keep that in mind Judas now who was the father of Judas Iscariot <laughs> wait a second uh, I think I wanted to keep Matthew 16 open real quickly let me get so real quick I want to show you this so if we go to Matthew 16 we sort of highlight Simon Peter here down here somewhere along the way all right Simon Peter and then remember th verse 30 uh, let's, oh, let's highlight this one here we go let's just highlight that one and call it good I don't like how that's here let's do it this way there now you can see that 
and then of course that and then now let's go let's see right there it is okay John 6 verse 71 All right. it says he spake of Judas Iscariot the son of Simon for he it was for he it was that should betray him being one of the twelve speaking of Judas Iscariot was the son of perdition that we read here in John 17 Judas Iscariot is the son of Peter alright and Peter is also known as Cephas alright Peter Simon Cephas it's all the same person and it's also the person uh, who denied the Lord Jesus Christ three times and it's the Peter that wrote first Peter second Peter the, the epistles of Peter <clears throat> it's the same same guy now it's interesting right if you think about this the son of perdition all right so Judas being the son of Peter and if the church is built on Peter then all the sons of Peter are lost because Judas Iscariot was never saved he was the only one of the twelve that was not saved and his purpose was so that the scripture might be fulfilled isn't that interesting that all the sons of Peter whom the Catholic Church claims <clears throat> to build its church on are they're all lost and isn't so I mean that stands to reason doesn't it how God implores with them come out come out what's that say what's that verse again I forget come out of her my people speaking of the great whore the mother of harlots um, speaking of the Roman Catholic Church come out of her my people so if there are any of you that truly are born of the Spirit of God God is calling you to come out of her come out of the Catholic Church all right and just really man I mean come on just believe the Bible that you hold in your hands and <laughs> you need of course you need a King James Bible once you come to that uh, conclusion that God is able to not only raise you from the dead but to give you a perfect Bible that you can hold in your hands and believe that these are the words of God okay so that's it 